Hello and what is up guys, Rai here and welcome back to some more Gear City. It's been, it's been a few weeks. Uh, we haven't been posting too much lately because I've been sick. And I'm still sick, just a little bit though. Uh, my voice has thankfully recovered pretty much fully. Uh, so we're back in Gear City. The year is 1936, so we are approaching, are we, are we, is, World War II, is that, is that a thing yet? Is that, how do we check maps? You go to conflicts and you can see World Wars and stuff. So right now there's, there's no conflicts. Uh, at least in uh, Europe and North America, which is, you know, the important areas, really, for now. Uh, for our car company, obviously, even though... Do we sell in Europe at all? I don't think so. Not yet, no. It's a bad idea to sell in Europe, probably, at this point. So, the company is doing decent. Uh, we are in the Great Depression still, uh, losing a bit of money per month. Uh, as soon as World War II actually starts, though, uh, and as soon as the U.S. jumps into World War II in the, the in 1940s, I think, early 40s, um, is, is when we will start making some money, probably, again. Uh, in, in the video today, we're going to hop through a few years, probably through all of World War II and, and so on. Um, I think we're going to start a new brand today, making a new brand. We've got Maven right now, and they built a few, a fair bit of cars. They've got the Faden, which is their lovely pickup truck, which is, which is sold pretty good. Um, of course, it's not selling uh, v very good anymore, um, be be because... Yeah, it's 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 the Great Depression, or yeah, so yeah, that that's why. Um, but you know, we're doing okay sales wise. Things are doing okay. I think we're actually gonna move our sports cars because Maven's gonna be a bit less of a sports car company, um, and a bit more of just a general North American company for now. It's basically Ford, uh, except it's not Ford. Uh, and I, I think we'll make our own luxury car company today. We can make it probably right away. I just want to skip one year real quick, and we'll get our bearings together, and we'll talk about things while we're skipping through. So uh, one of my automation brands, and I've done a few videos on them recently, is Harriet. Basically a, uh, it's like Duesenberg. So big engines, uh, and just wild, wild layouts, wild designs. A lot of power, a lot of money though, generally speaking, for Harriet. So it's going to be our luxury, or our premium mark. More of a performance car company, um, but they might make other stuff too, just, just for funsies, to be honest. Uh, so we're losing about $1 million or so every month. We don't really have any debt, we still have our, um, we own 69%. Uh, 69, uh, of our company's stock. And uh, last time I posted this, I had a lot of comments conflicting me on whether or not I should be, you know, explaining what's happening through everything or skipping through all the boring stuff. Because, you know, I can either explain a lot of stuff and explain, make sure everyone knows what's happening. Um, or I can skip through all that because it's boring to a lot of people. Uh, and I do like talking about this game. It's a game that not many people really play, at least do videos on. So I like to sort of do like a decent amount. When I'm actually doing important things, I like to explain what's happening. Um, but right now, like we're just talking. I'm just sitting through 12 months, which is taking a surprisingly long time uh, on my pretty decent computer. So we're losing just over a million dollars, one and a half million nearly there in the 11th month of 1936. Uh, World War II should be wrapping up soon. Um, then we can do some military contracts, and we'll check those right now we're still taking a loss let's check contracts we put a, co a contract in for the boston police force for the maven ft which is our fleet trim of our maven it actually costs a bit less than the actual Thaden. um with the same mpg a little bit less space but just a bit less cost we will do a offer for the irish free state army they want to get seven per month which is just which is some uh, i want to sort this by military Contracts, and we'll sort it by vehicles, because that's the that's the best thing to do, really. So vans doesn't make enough torque, and they want a diesel, uh, diesel, diesel, and diesel. So they want diesels. We could do a diesel engine. I'm not sure if we have a diesel engine. Let's double check. I don't think we do, to be honest. No, none are diesels. Okay, just judging by the names, we've got a supercharged inline six. We've got a naturally aspirated V8. That's in the way the the Maximus. Oh, it's a full-size sedan. I like that name, actually. The Maven Maximus. That's a nice name. Uh, but we are going to make some Harriet vehicles right away. We, actually, our stock has gone up to 410 million market cap. We could take out some bonds. We've got some pension funds right now. We're only losing a bit of money. We've got enough to last this, probably. Uh, we do have some stock in Cureworth. So we're going to go ahead, make a new brand. We're going to call it Harriet. That's my performance brand. And we're going to go ahead and just... I kind of like that logo. Um, did they add more logos, actually? They, they literally just did an update. I feel like they might have added a couple more. No. No, 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 I'm wrong, I'm wrong. They didn't, wait. The snake one, is that new? Nope. They added no more. That's okay, that's okay. I like that one for Harriet, too. Um, Harriet's not really gonna be a mass market brand, more of just my luxury mark. 
or like a, a really luxurious mark, I'm thinking, at least for now. We can use this this for Harriet's logo, because it's like wings and Harriet's like a bird logo in, in, in my automation kind of series. So we're going to go ahead, modify an engine, or should we design new engines? What engines do we have uh, in the sport? And we're, we're going to rename this thing, obviously, from the sport to something else in Harriet's lineup. Um, so it's got inline sixes only, 3.8 and 4.4. I think that's probably okay, 1937. We could probably go a V8, maybe. Let's just design a new engine from scratch here. Let's design a few new engines. Let's actually modify. So we've got a 2.2 liter four cylinder. We'll make a new generation of that. Just just average, an average engine, to be honest. Do a 3.3 liter in line six, I'm guessing. Yep. And we'll do a 3.8 liter. And we'll do a V8, probably, I'm thinking. So 208, I don't like that number though. 210 torque sounds fine. And 120 for horse. And we will do, um... This is a inline 6, we got a 4.8 liter. So we got, what do we have now, friends? We've got a 2.2, 3.3, 3.8. We'll do a 4.8. And we'll do a, no, a 4.4? We'll do a 4.8 liter V8, actually. That'll be the gist of it for, for Maven for now, I think. Some new engines for the Harriet brand. They're gonna have their own engines. It's a four liter straight six, probably. I'm thinking it sounds like an average engine. Let's do this. Just keep the stroke nice and high for all that torque. Uh, and we'll do like 65, 6, no, 66, 67.45, or 4, or 3. Close enough. A three point, well, okay, we'll do, a, we'll do it exactly a four liter inline six. Uh, and I think they're all gonna have turbocharged to be really cool, but supercharger is just the better way to go. Nice and simple name. Nothing too fancy right now. Uh, let's do the H40S, and we'll do a turbocharged version, probably. Do 180, 270, 280 or so is fine. That's fine. That's okay. I'll take that. Uh, we could probably go even for... Not, not that. We'll do a dual avert cam engine. 180 horsepower and 280 torque. We'll do the H40S. And we'll do probably a turbo version as well. So the H40, the H40S, and the H40T. Cost is actually getting pretty high in that thing though. My gosh, is it? We'll do a variable geometry turbo, which is upping the cost by a fair bit. It's actually nearly doubling the cost. No, it's not doubling. It's like 30% more. For a bit more horsepower, and we can go increased on that. So increase the performance slider, we get more revs. It still only revs to 2,800 RPM, but... We're getting 204 horsepower, which is a bit more than the current, uh, the current 440S, which is 150 horsepower. I think the current, that makes more, and that almost makes the same. So we're making a lot more power. I'm not sure if we could break 200 miles an hour. H40T. Sounds like a reasonable engine choice name. Not bad, though. I also want to make a diesel four-cylinder. We'll make it a bit bigger. Make it a 200 bore, massive bore, absolute massive stroke. A 3 point, a 3, a three liter, maybe a 3 liter flat, 69.1. There we go. Make it a naturally aspirated diesel, 240 torque. Oh boy, what is the, what does the contracts call for? How much horsepower do we really need? There's no horsepower number, we just need lots of torque. Okay, that's fine. 50 horse is like top, probably fine, I'm thinking. 50 horse, 50 horse and 240 or so torque. I know reasonably cheap engine as well. Let's make it one near. We're going to call this the G2 3000D. Okay. A 3, 4, and 5 speed. 3 speed for basics. 4 speed for high end trims, I guess. And a 5 speed for just one car. We'll skip a year uh, and see what's happening. So we're, we're steadily losing some money. We've got everything researched. Um, we're going to make all the generations at once right now. We are we are still in the 24 hour of Le Mans. Oh my gosh, that's a bad idea, actually. It's costing us $2 million a year. Let's not do that for now. Uh, $2 million a year is a bit of money. We've got $60 million right now. We've lost $20 million in the last year. I think we're losing about $2 million a year, uh, which is unfortunately a little high. We still have good value. We still have Cure Worth under our belt here. We've actually uh, made a profit off that. By a few million if we really want to. We can go ahead and probably give another 10 million into our pension fund. 
because we could probably just afford that. I want to... Now, the, the trick to a pension fund is you want to grow that as fast as possible and just sink as, money, as much money as you can in early. All the research has been finished. Uh, I actually went ahead also and cancelled our 24-hour of Lama entry, pretty much because that was costing us a bit of money. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just make a next-generation sports car. We've got the Harriet brand now. Uh, we're going to use the CTS-3 platform. We're going to use a 4-liter straight 6. This is the Harriet engine. And a 4-speed manual as the base transmission for this thing now. Uh, 0 0.69.2 seconds. Not bad. 148 mile an hour top speed for the base model is, is pretty quick. And this body is kind of like really good. And, and, and we'll keep it going. I think this is going to be just like a flagship high performance sports car from Harriet. Um, I want to make one more model that won't be as performance oriented probably. Now we're going to call it the Harriet. Now someone gave me a name. And I'm open for more names, obviously, for cars. Um, the name he gave me was Vitesse. We're, we'll call this one the Harriet Vitesse. It's going to be Harriet's first, you know, car by their own brand, basically. Uh, and it's a good name. We'll go ahead and make the Vitesse. I'm going to guess we'll use a four, we'll use a five speed for both, probably. I'm thinking the Super, and we'll call the other one the, the Turbo. We'll do this 200 horsepower, the same five speed. No, the, the Super T, the Super Turbo. The Super T sounds fine. 6.3 seconds, 170. We didn't break 200 miles an hour, though. Kind of sad, actually, but um, it just doesn't have enough power, I'm guessing, right now, which is okay. Let's increase that. Furthermore, it doesn't add any weight. Here's 66.3 seconds of a rounding up. 1,760 1, pounds. 200 horsepower. Now we'll call it a turbo. Now we'll call it a Super T, actually. I like that. I like that. The Harriet Vitesse Super T. Very fast car still. 170 miles an hour. Pretty quick, not gonna lie. Um, what's the fastest car in the world now? Are we still we the fastest car? Yep, 170 mile an hour, and we also have the fastest zero to 60, uh, and the best power to weight ratio of any car in history. Not the highest horsepower though. Highest horsepower is 220. Uh, the Mave Motors Runner. What? what? We'll call the R Runner. Okay, I don't know why it's uh, 1940. What's the current runner looking like? Actually, the current runner. Interesting. We can't, we can't make a new generation with the same name. I don't know why that's doing Okay, we'll call it the, the All Runner. That's fine. That was the actual name. Uh, let's go ahead and modify the pickup truck. Let's do... We're not going to have an FT trim. We're going to have like, just general trims, I guess. Same chassis. We'll have, I think, three engines. The 2.0. Well, the 3.3, 3.8, 4.8. Yeah, yeah. We'll have four, we'll have four trims. We'll do the base one with a naturally aspirated six-cylinder. The Phaeton is the name of the truck. We will do another trim. We'll do the van on the CTA platform uh, because we'll save some costs there by a little bit. Let's do a four-cylinder and a three-speed auto. Change the body up for this one because it's a little bit dated, I think. The other ones were fine. Um, like that. That's a fine body. Let's do lower middle again. And let's do two years because we can. We'll call it the mover. We'll call it the all mover. The all is going to be our... Utility vehicles, I think. The All Mover. And I, I want to make another Harriet in a few years, probably, but I'm, we're going to wait till these are developed first. And it'll be it'll be more powerful, but probably less fast. You know what? Let's wait one year. And let's get the next generation Crusada coming in a bit cheaper. It'll use the same parts that'll be cheaper with inflation. Uh, so we'll skip 12 months and see uh, where we are then. So, we're back here. It's been a year. Uh, nothing much has really happened. Nothing interesting. We could have bought some companies that went bankrupt, but I chose not to. It's not that interesting. We're going to go ahead uh, and make a next generation of sedan, a full-size sedan. I think they're doing good enough to make a next... I mean, the Crusada is doing really good, so we'll do that. Let's do a CTA car. Uh, we're going to give it a small engine, probably. It's not the full-size sedan. We'll give it a automatic, slightly different body design. We'll, we'll use the pre-selected ones. Sure, we'll do that. The lower middle another two years as well that's fine let's modify our full size sedan and that's that's all we have for now we could make you no know, we might make a gt car or we could make maybe like a, a full, another full size sedan under the harriet badge that sounds reasonable do the cta platform again um let's do a 3.3 liter in a three speed automatic let's change this to maybe we can do mine if it's here uh, for the middle class, two years again. The Maximus, we'll do the Maximus with this. We'll get a four speed. Well, it's the S, we'll call it the S8. 
upper middle again this is gonna be a little more of a pricey vehicle probably it is gonna be for sure pricier a little bit more this you really want the quality to be above the minimum without costing more do the cts3 give it a 140 horsepower straight six a three speed it'll do a four speed auto and get rid of the trim name let's change the sedan body up let's give it let's give it this sedan actually i like this sedan a big old sedan i like it let's do upper middle as well or should we do upper upper middle is fine this is gonna be called the harriet now we've got sedan names we've got coupe names like i think raiders my truck name um and harry just has a, a pretty generic naming so if you guys have some more harry names let me know in the comments down below um like gt my gt car was just called the gt um my supercar was just called just normal things the harry at 40 sounds reasonable kind of cool i will do the harry at the 40 s now we're gonna skip ahead again another 12 months we'll, we'll finish this generation off and we'll see where it stands so it's World War II, guys. It's time for the factories to start producing stuff. Now, we can make some money off our factories here. We can make $4 million a month with no car costs, with no expenses, basically. Oh, that's just our Canada factory, actually. Okay, interesting. We're going to make $4 million just off of that. The US one still is going to be there for a while longer. I want to build, actually, a new factory in Mexico. we got two factories down right now. Uh, not producing cars, but the other factories can still make up for it. We're going to go one more month. I just want to see how much money we're... If we're making money now, that's probably important to check. Now we're making money. There we go. 62 grand a month is actually more than enough for me to buy back our shares. Now we're back. At, so I sold some earlier. I bought some back. And now Kuro actually crashed. They're going to go back up again. Let's take out a bond for 100 million. And that'll hopefully float us until the, everything is all set to go, basically. Let's do two more months real quick. Or three more months, I guess. But things are doing okay. Things are doing good. We're making a profit now. Uh, the all mover is going to be cheap, 1000 bucks. The XT, let's do 1300 that's, that's double the price then, and we'll do 1750 so a bit more. The runner is going to start at 13, or 1250 It's going to be uh, 1550 we'll do 300 more. And we'll do this, at, that was 450 more, okay, so we'll do 2000 Thain is a bit more offensive yet again, but with a bit of trims here and there. We'll do 1800, and we will do uh, 450, we'll do 2250. The, the diesel's making some good money there, we'll do this as the 2850, that's 500. Okay, now I think we're fine, we'll do one more month, I want to see what we're making. I'm not too sure if we're going to be doing good yet. There's some profit, $1 million profit. We're selling some cars. This is without contracts. I am worried, though, that we won't have the production capacity for contracts. I think we will. No, we won't. Let's build a factory in Mexico, I guess. That's another thousand cars. Done in about a year. We'll finish that on the first. So, 1,600 cars, more a month. We'll do that in Mexico. That's two years. Oof. Sketchy, though. What about this factory in Philadelphia? We can upgrade it. Okay, we'll upgrade it for 15 million. Just in case. And I'll skip again to the future. Uh, and we'll see if we get the contracts. If not, that's okay. I want to find more stock in the though, while, while they're still cheap. And our stock has actually shot up nicely. Our pension fund is okay. We're going to put another 25 million in that because we can afford it right now. We, we do have one bond withstanding, but are outstanding. That's okay, though. Let's go ahead and and production of the old cars, the Crusada, Crusada S, and the S6, and production of the Maximus, the S. We didn't have an S8 before. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, well, let's do Maven first. Crusada is gonna be one thousand. The S is gonna be not not two thousand. One fourteen hundred. I'll do this at 2,000. Sounds fine. The Maximus is going to be 1,400. No, not 1,000. 100. A 1,800. Or a 2,600, I think. A little more expensive for that, but that's okay. Now, Harry, it's going to be even more expensive. 
Let's do 4,000. It's going to be cheaper than the Vitesse, I think. 5,500. And 60, 7,500. No. Do 5,000. We'll do 7,000. Let's do one month. See where we're at. Now, That the upgraded factory should be pretty good, and the one we're building should be pretty good as well. We're making even more money. Okay. So now we have the option to make more fact more more munition factories. I'm not sure, sure where this is though. This is not this is not Mexico. Let's do no munitions. Because we're gonna make money off contracts, I'm hoping. 1885. 185. Whatever the price is there. 1814. Okay. Losing some money. We're going to sell a little bit of stock right now. To hold us off if we... I just want to see what happens next month. We can't... The branch is shut down. I, I'm aware. Yeah, we are granted a new contract. This is for... A lot of... Bars there. We got some more contracts. We got another Canadian contract. We got more coming in as well. Probably. Let's do one month again. Now we're going to sell a little bit of stock. And it's totally fine to sell stock because we're going to buy back once it dips down again. Let's do one more month. I'm really unsure what we're doing here. There's some more sales. I don't know why this, why my main factories, why aren't these ones actually factory? Why aren't they? I can't change my mind about contracts, can I? Let's do auto contract. Out of production, no. Buying contracts. Okay, these are making things. This is making in Winnipeg. Well, we got some money. I'm about to shit the bed here, but... That's a bit of a branch anyways, at least in Mexico, because that's still open for now. Big. And let's just sell our cars in Mexico City for now, I'm feeling like. Why not? Mexico is still open and not really in the war yet. The war's almost over anyway, so we got a couple years anyways. Let's do this. Come on. Not very much. Barely any cars get sold in Mexico. We're missing sales though. We don't have anything to produce cars in actually. Just the Mexico factory that's really producing right now. Weird. That's really strange. Let's sell more. More and more. We just own over half the company. Making profit there. What's our Kuro stock doing? It's doing terrible, but we're going to buy more of that anyways. Let's just wait. Let's just wait and see. Alright, guys. So, we're pretty much done. The absolute worst thing possible. Oh, I, I, I've never tried this strategy before of actually trying to do contracts instead solely. But boy, oh boy. It's much better to let the... just to do munitions... I mean, just, just to produce munitions with your factories. I'm not sure to turn that back on, and I've got like tons of hours in this game, which is interesting. So what we're gonna do... We've got 23 million. We've got just over half the company owned by us. We, I don't want to sell shares in Kira if that's a bad idea. We're gonna take a huge loss there. I don't want to sell under 50% of Maven Motors, because then we're gonna get kicked out and probably... We could lose. It is a possibility. Um, We still have a line of credit of 37 million. All you have to do is wait till September. We just need six months. We've got not we've got Yeah, we got six months of, of, of money still. Uh so we should be fine. I'm gonna see through the whole thing. We're losing three million a month right now. Once uh because the world the war ends in September. So I think September or October we'll still be making money again, which we'll, we'll be making lots of money. Uh and we're just gonna wait a little bit more. We are we well, we're selling a lot of cars right now. Uh we're gonna cancel the the diesel vehicles, I think. Because they're not really selling in large numbers anymore. But yeah, note to self, guys, is do not. Absolutely do not. It's better to produce munitions. It's just so much more convenient and easy. Um, and I tried to do a different strategy, but it ended up backfiring. But we, we still made money. We, we lost some money in contracts. That's fine. I don't really care. Um, we open up some slots for higher production vehicles. We still have a ton of cars we need to produce. 
Uh, let's go ahead and buy more of our stock. And we'll sell it once it gets nice and high. We can start actually building. We got that tiny factory. I just try to build that as a kind of a, a guess and things. Let's do this. And let's just do a few months of stuff. Let, let's see what happens here. The war's over. Uh, the, the company isn't... You know, I wouldn't say rough shape. It, it, it's in a little bit of rough shape. It's not doing great. Um, took a big loss there. That's okay. We made some profit again. Cure is rising in stocks. Do we have any? We'll pay off our line of credit. And let's just do a few months. Okay. Then we'll see how things are going. I think we're going to be doing okay. We paid off our line of credit. Making some profit. We do have the bond to pay off. We do have several bonds to pay off now, which is not ideal. Um, okay, Cure Earth is going to get bought out. So some company called Carwazerkia wants to buy out Cure Earth. They want to pay $100 million or less than $100 million for the company. Um, it's only $5 a share. No thank you. That's a loss of money. Build a good few. Just a few. That's half a million. What about, what about, that's not half a million yet. Do a factory here? We do. Okay, I think we're okay. There's, there's, what is this? What, can I click it? There we go. Kansas City's a bit of people. St. Louis is a bit of people. Okay, we're fine. Now let's start selling the cars in these ones. Yeah, I tried a few different strategies. Um, while well, we skipped over all that time. I ended up having to cancel one of our factories, which would have been great uh, if we had it now, but that's okay that we don't have it. We don't need it anymore, but we would have needed it for a short time. Let's do this one month and see... We're going to take a loss probably. Okay, a slight profit. Sales are back up to 30 million. These are old cars. 1939, it's 1946. We need new generations. Our market cap's over a billion now. We can sell probably a good bit of that. Let's sell 50 million worth. Uh, and now we have some floating cash. Now we can actually do some things with our money. The World War II is over. The worst is over. Uh, what do we need to do? We need new generation of vehicles. We got some cash in the bank. Let's look at sales here. So how did the 40 sell? 2,000, 1,800. That's not bad. The Vitesse sold a little... Oh, the Vitesse is a sports car. Vitesse sold actually better. What about the Phaeton? Oh, the Phaeton's selling really well. Let's check out markets. So Maven's actually the third biggest car company in the world right now, which is actually kind of cool. Um, not as big as, you know, Car Zerky or whatever, uh, which wanted to buy actually Cure Earth, which is um, our, 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 our minor company, I guess. We sold a lot of cars. Uh, what do we own for market share? So we sold 37% of all the compact SUVs in the world. That's not a very big market. Uh, we sold 17% of the vans, which we control. We control vans and that. What about trucks? Trucks only 14%. Do we need more? Trucks is a bigger market. Do we want trucks? Um, full size sedans, we did okay. Sedans, we did okay. And sports cars, we didn't do great. Um, it is an expensive car, though. The sedans are the most popular. We, we want to push into sedans a bit more. Um... Pickup trucks are going to grow in North America, though, and they're pretty expensive, so that's not bad. I think what we're going to do, we'll save it. We'll finish off here. We did about a decade, a bit over a decade, I, I want to say. Um, World War II is over. we got some contracts, actually, that are coming in now that we can do. Um, we can do generation next time of, of some of the cars. I want to keep Harriet for maybe another year or two, probably, but we'll start working on the next generation for uh, Maven Motors now. I think what we're going to do, so, uh, do we need anything else? Maybe a coupe or a compact car for the Maven Motors lineup? Maybe. Maybe. I'm not too sure yet. Um, definitely need a stronger pickup truck game. I want to have two V8s probably, I think, for the next generation. The two V8 options. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, if you guys like Gear City, leave a like down below. Join the Discord linked in the description as well down below. Uh, we did a lot of years this time. This one's uh, pretty, pretty long sitting down. I was playing for a good bit. Um, but, um... Yeah, thanks, thanks for joining Gear City, guys. It's a lot of fun to me, uh, even though there's a lot of boring parts. I know in it. Uh, a live stream tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, I'll see you next time.